Why is this filming again? What happened? Um, yeah, just shut off. Anyway, maybe I will film my adventure in bringing this doll to the chop shop. I have to keep it in a way that the everything will still move. And then wander, I mean, if I can have lots of people fight over it, maybe I can go to dolly school, which you can pay for. Thank you. Uh, yeah, dolly school would include R&D, general toy architecture, uh, business, business classes, how to run a business, how to, uh, give me a 3D printer, um, how to mold, make, and cast so I can 3D print my master copy for all the little legs. I see, you, you, you make all the legs. And then I hire all the prisoners, and they and they make all my dollies, because they, you know, if they were dragged, just like the guy, why do they kill the bomber? He could be he he could be my thing, the the Boston bomber, that Russian. He could be my slave, and make the toys for me to sell. Anyway. The best thing about making dolls that are deformed, either for shock value or to make kids who are deformed, because people are in the market for children to toys that have the disproportionate limbs. So I don't even have to stress myself making this perfect. I People will be, I love you forever if it has clubbed feet. They just won't want to pay me uh, $50 for it. Even if I pretend I had to go out and buy a whole new thing of epoxy sculpt. Because I seem to only buy it off the internet. And what's even better is if I do use the original head and like tree change, they sometimes they take the mouth and they, they, they paint it and slim it down, which makes everybody have duck face. And then big kid teeth, which I guess is good to turn whatever age she is, 17, 16, and turn her into an eight-year-old somehow with, you know, the, you know, I'm growing new teeth, tooths. And I can even paint them braces, which will make it more desirable. That's just, I think I might need to keep the face for a guide because you see, keep using a nail polish from every hard. So, if I, and the body's too hard to cut in half. And I guess their, their torso, the torso are already slow, uh, small enough that it doesn't matter. Where's the draw? Where's the Barbie? Proportionately, look like those ribs. So, what the, am I going to do? Ah, uh, it's so hard. It's so hard. This is the knee. My dwarf needs knees. So I just can't. <sighs> that too. Can you make a doll that has amputee? That's an amputee for my child? Yes, it's cool. Or just cut. Cut the leg off and then sand around the, the stump. I mean, I don't know. That sounds a little heartless, doesn't it? Can you make a stuffed animal that has that's that's has an amputation? Yes! It's called cut off the leg of your own teddy bear and sew it. And then you're not going to want to pay somebody to do the work for you. Why? You think this is for my disabled child? This should be free charity. What kind of horrible person are you? Very horrible. Lots of horrible. Damn it, demonic. Came in. It didn't even keep him away. It doesn't keep me away from myself. <laughs> Evil. Dolly, do 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 So, 
I ripped the legs off of Bratz dolls before to make centaurs. And I don't know how to get them all back on if I wanted to. Actually, I wonder if speaking with funny voices for the webcam is a good idea or not. Um, you know, maybe there's a way I can to make it sound better. Like the transatlantic accent that they used to use. That's, uh, uh, or well, apparently people change their voices for Broadway. Uh, MGA, that's right, not MGM or MSG company. Yee-hoo! Where's the other one? The blonde one. So, do I take the head off and then put a new head on? The, where, the elbows don't bend. Where do I cut the leg? And then cut the leg and then glue and then clay them back on. Like that. I'll have to look at some dwarves. 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 I know how to pronounce it. I just want to pronounce it differently. They look like I have an exotic accent. Or up to there. Oh yeah, that too. And now that I'm putting these lines, like on the girl, and they have the poster of like socially acceptable clothing for women, like you know, once you got your your uh, when your skirt is here is up to the over here. You're like a slut whore, which like. They're doing that because the girls at the high school, they had the dress code for the prom. So, let me understand this. These dolls! These dolls you all hate. When they have dresses and skirts. They come down here. You don't like that. You call the doll a whore. When a real 17 year old gets sent home with a dress code violation, you say that's wrong. Well, only because the boys can't think. So. You want a seventeen, a real seventeen-year-old to be able to go to school with a skirt like this? You say it's deplorable to make dolls with a skirt that would be this, this short, and then you say it's disgusting for somebody to make and sell skirts that are that short and market them to teenagers. You see why people make fun of you and hate you and rage at you in your blogs? Feminist blogger gets trolled. Yeah, because you're confusing the hell out of me. So I'm going to attack you and go. And if you have on your blog. Oh my god, this is so rogue. Look at the doll in her little skirt. She's just a wee little child. She's 16 years old. Meanwhile, there's a real 16-year-old being sent home for wearing the same little skirt. And, and, uh, but that's not right. We have to get abolished the dress codes. <gasps> These people are making tiny mini skirts for babies. You can't sexualize the children like that. <gasps> there's nothing sexual about letting a teenager go to school with, with, with shrimp, with, with skirts that are, she gets sent home because her prom dress is like, is like this, and, and then, then this skirt that is like, is like, no, how dare they say she can't go to prom like this, 
Oh my god! But no! I'm sorry, but that's just how I say things. And it's sad because I'm some kind of woman female thing, but really, when you have that on your same page, uh, I don't know, it sends mixed messages, so I'm gonna have to go. Wow! You really don't have your priorities. It's all about, I guess, the oppression and the, what do you call it, um, um, uh, itemization and fetishization. So it's, it's, um, it's one thing to the make the doll with the skirt short like that. And then it's another thing to oppress a real teenager for saying she can't go to school with his skirt like that and then it's another to have you know a cartoon character with a skirt this short so then why not go and say oh yes you're totally right if the real girl if the cartoon girl shouldn't have a skirt like this then the real girls should have to have, uh, you know, dress code that they're, you know, it's got to come down to like here or something, whatever. I'll probably need you guys anyway to buy. No, that's right. You wouldn't even buy trampy clothes for babies because once they make pump. Slipper pumps for babies. It's just horrible, but then like I don't I don't I don't understand This is a two-part video. It's too long. I gotta eat something or poke something or I don't know